Hey everybody, it's Sandy the Sunroom Stitcher and I am coming to you from the windy folds of the lilac thicket and it is Saturday at 1224 as you can see behind me it is quite windy um, it's we've got some sort of overcast right now but it has been sunny and the birds are coming and it's just really a beautiful day absolutely beautiful day um, Oren was sitting out here with his laptop and, uh, and then he went in and he laid down and I shut the door so that I don't disturb him but anyways it's been a it's been a pretty good week I um, I've been doing some stitching on something surprising so anyways I want to thank all of you for supporting me with <clears throat> all of your positive comments about my stashing hoarding issues and I've been pretty good this week I won't say I've been perfect but um, I did uh, purchase a PDF uh, on um, Nordic Needle for Hardanger bookmarks and there it's an older book and I believe it has about six different bookmarks in it and they're very pretty um, so anyways thank you very much for all your support and any tips and um, and I forgot who it was that was talking, that left a comment about that it's like overload. You become paralyzed by how much you have. And, and I think that that's really true and I really appreciated her comments. And I'm sorry, I don't know who that was. Hold on just a second, maybe I can tell you. Um, because I like to give credit where credit is due my channel. Um, I do, I'm really surprised I have 10 new stitchers and, um, come on, ten, or 10 new subscribers and I'm going to try to be a little more um, organized in my uh, videos someone gave me a thumbs down and unfortunately they did not um, exactly tell me they didn't tell me why um, I would be curious to know why what if it they didn't like the content or um, didn't like you know presentation I would have really liked to have known why um, so if you have a criticism please let me know and do it kindly um, because I would uh, I would really like to have everybody like what I do I know that's sort of like an impossible task but anyways so I'm still waiting on YouTube <laughs> but let me uh, say hello to my to my new subscribers um, Pinay Stitcher, uh, Craft Fun Forever, Belinda Z, Annabelle0926, hello Annabelle, Pascal Bogart, hello Pascal, um, the Stitching Biologist, I like that nickname, Robert Francis, no, Frampus, Fry. Hello, Robert. Uh, Teresa Pyers. Judy S Salinas. And Heartbroken to Charlene Petrosky. I'm sorry you're heartbroken, Charlene. I hope that you've gotten. that you have uh, started to mend your heart. Don't know what you're heartbroken about. 
Uh, let's see here. Oh, it was M. Woolley. She said, I equate a craft to toys for children. Children can have and love a so, lot of toys, yeah. but... Or I give them a second. Away. Share them with my mom. Take them up to the library, something like that. Okay. Um... Can, can, uh, let's see. Uh, children can have and love a lot of toys, but become overwhelmed when confronted with too many choices at once. I did this for myself and became more satisfied with what I already owned. I picked up a generous number of whips to have out at one time and pretty much put the rest of my crafting materials out of sight. Once a month I can rotate things and out. Things in and out. The things I have not seen have become new again. Good luck in your endeavors. And I really appreciated that. Um, and it makes a lot of sense. So, as always, I'm, I'm open to your help and your criticisms and everything like that. Um, I wanted to give everybody an update on that Amber Alert that came through on my phone while I was talking to you guys. What had happened, it was in Blue Springs, which is where my little brother lives, and I immediately thought of my great-great-niece, Rose Lynn, and that's why I paused, because I was thinking, do I need to call out there? And I thought, no, I would have gotten a phone call from my brother if something would have happened to Rose Lynn. So, um, anyways, it was a 12-year-old girl, and um, they found her about three hours east of here, near St. Louis, in a restaurant right off of, I think, I-70, um, with a 22-year-old young man that she had met on a online game and his 24 year old brother so apparently it was uh, something that the parent had, had was trying to wrap their hands around that they um, apparently had taken away her cell phone and stuff like that because the parent noticed an odd phone number um, had come through on the house phone and so the parent was trying to contain the 12 year old well the 12 year old got in a car with this 22 year old 12 years old and took off so it wasn't for the lack of parenting the parent had actually been trying to uh, put the gabosh on that. So um, the 22-year-old and the 24-year-old are in jail, and I hope that the 12-year-old um, got her butt paddled. That's scary, very scary out there. And that just goes to show that you do have an, an uh, interactive parent who is actively trying to guide their children in the right direction, and things like that can still happen. So I've been praying for the mom. Um, and also this week, uh, my brother, uh, my great nephew, when he was quite young, he was friends with uh, a young man who was his same age who had leukemia. And I remember the young man because he would be over at um, the house and he was just a small, slight little fella, nicest child, nicest kid. And um, his glasses were big and his face was so small. And he was just, he was a great kid. And his parents, I had met his parents and just a lovely family. Well, um, Lee did not survive his leukemia, and he died before he gradu graduated from high school. And he, Lee had been picked on a lot, and my great-nephew is 
like a big kid, and he used to uh, protect Lee. And um, after Lee passed, there were rough times for the parents, and they got divorced and moved on with their life. And um, LB, Lee's father, was working at at Lake City where they make ammunition. Um, and um, this past week there was an accident there at Lake City and um, there was an explosion and LB was killed. And um, just really a difficult situation. Just a very difficult situation. Uh, but LB's up there in heaven with Lee now. And so, unfortunately, things like that happen. And there's little that you can do about it. Uh, when God is ready for you, He's ready for you. And on a lighter note, my husband told me a joke, and it's really very, uh, really a cute joke, and I want to share it with you. Uh, this lady goes to heaven, and she's quite surprised, and she's talking with God, and um, says, "I'm just really surprised. I thought I had a lot more time." And God says, "Well, you do. You have three more years." And so she she says, "Oh, I'm so grateful." So she ends up back on earth, and she decides since she has three more years that she's going to do all these things that she saw, thought about doing. And she goes and she has, you know, um, plastic surgery on her face and breast implants and rear end implants, has her teeth fixed, dyes her hair, gets a tattoo. And uh, she's uh, driving down the street, and she actually is in a collision with an ambulance, and uh, she ends up in heaven. And <laughs> and she said, but God, you told me I had three more years. And God says to her, girl, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> really cute. Uh, anyway, I had some uh, questions about auto shipments. Um, and there are two, there are two uh, brick and mortar stores that do auto shipments that I recommend because I, I, I've used both of them. One is the Silver Needle and the other is Stitches and Things. So, um, generally anything that comes is a series of patterns, like um, Little House or uh, Country Cottage, Hands-On Designs, any of those. Those are, you'll, you'll find auto shipments of those at either of those places. I'm sure there's more, and you may have your own recommendations, but... I wanted to address that. Um, also, I uh, subscribe to several news newsletters, and um, one of them is Mary Corbett, and she sends out newsletters with tips, and um, it's not about necessarily about cross stitch, but it's about embroidery. She does. A wide variety of different types of uh, embroidery and needlework and she does have some really good um, articles from that interest me not every everything interests me but some of them do but she recently had one for uh, tips for uh, thread taming and organizing and um, she talked about cotton floss and uh, the pull skeins, how you can pull from it, uh, stripping floss and removing one strand at a time, and taming large hanks of floss, and twisted uh, taming twisted silks. 
So um, you can sign up for her newsletter or you can read it online. And either one, um, I, I will put a link down in the comments for her website. Um, Another thing I wanted to talk uh, talk to you about was floss conversion charts, um, like from for uh, DMC for um, gas to DMC, uh, weeks dyed works uh, conversions um, to DMC to help you uh, uh, substitute. Um, and I found a couple of different places, but the most extensive one that I found was on Stitcher's Village. And um, you go to the resources and then the reference library, and they have really an extensive list of um, conversions. Um, I print them out and put them in my notebook here. So, um, if you're, that's anything you're interested, you might want to look at that. They also have a, a cross-stitch calculator, and it'll calculate for you the size of your fabric. And they also have thread uh, checklists. So, uh, and, and Stitcher's Village really had the best selection. Also, there is another site that has them, Needle and, uh, needle and Thread. And um, I'll put those links down in the bottom. Um, let's see. I have... Now, let's start here. I have started another project. Um... I was bored. Well, actually, I had made a mistake on Pumpkins 3, and I was disgusted because I'd made quite a few mistakes on that that I had to get out of here, you guys. Starlings. They come and they hog all of the grease cakes, and they just... Oh. Um, anyway, so I said, I'm going to start something new. And because my beautiful lilacs are in bloom, and you can probably see the bush right here. There's another bush here, but this one here is loaded. Um, I started, and you I don't know if you will remember this, but I had bought this Riolas uh, kit last year. And it's my lilacs. It's, I don't know what the name of it is, but it is beautiful. And I wanted to do it on even weave, and I couldn't find any fabric that was the same color as the 10 count Ada that was in the kit. So I just decided to bite the bullet and do it on on the Ada. And I haven't stitched on Ada in a long time. And you know what? I'm really glad that I did that. So you can see that I've just sort of started that. And I love the colors. It's acrylic and woolen um, yarn. Um, yeah. and they're beautiful. Sometimes it's, uh, they use like maybe one thread and make a cross or two threads to make your X or three threads, but beautiful colors and, um, there are some blended in here, and it's been fun. I've really enjoyed it. I'm going to work on it in a little bit here after I finish this up. But I have to say, there is, I, I don't consider myself a, 
a linen snob or a, what is it, an Ada snob, no, a linen snob, I guess, because, but Ada just seems so stiff, but when you work with it, it becomes softer, and it's actually quite refreshing because this is 10 count, it's easy to see, easy to see, easy to count, and it's just nice sort of to have that grid right there for you and you're, no, you're not accidentally stitching over three or which is the problem I was having with um, pumpkins three so anyways I've started on that and I really do love it um, it is a color chart and you do need to read the directions, but I actually made a color copy of the part that I'm working on so I can cross it, cross it off. And then I have uh, made a copy of the, the key to have right there. So anyways, I have been really, really enjoying this. Now... That's really the only stitching I've done, but I'm going to throw this out to Leslie because tomorrow, Leslie, I'm going to be working on Destiny. You must, I hope everything's okay with you, Leslie, because um, you were going to, you were going to chat on Friday instead of Thursday, and then I didn't hear from you, so I hope everything's okay. Um, let me know. So, that is what I'm working on. I am loving it. Um, and the next thing, I have been dying to do this because I ordered, I ordered a, a several things, cross-stitch stuff um, before my ban, and so it's, so it's still coming in. So this... I know what it is and I can smell it and but I wanted to open it up with you guys and it is that fabric that scented fabric from Pankis Designs and it's the one with the laser printed Silent Night linen care. This is the note. Summer at the Old Red House. Thanks ever so much for your order. Many blessings, Nikki. Oh, that's sweet. And they have, let's look at this, because I can smell the cinnamon. It smells so good. Can 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 Kanikis, Prims and Whims, thirty two count. And this is for Amazing Grace, and this is for. Uh, I don't have the pattern. I meant to grab it, and I didn't. <sighs> so, I'm gonna do that winter scene on there. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Look at that. Can you see how it's modeled back there? Ah, oh, I love it. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a soul like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relived. Tis how precious did that grace appear, the hour I first believed. Throw man e dangers dangers toils and snares i have already come tis grace that brought me safe thus far and grace will lead me home yes when this heart and flesh shall fail and mortal life shall cease i shall possess within the veil a life of joy and peace amen i i love this 
uh, and I'm going to be stitching over one. Oh, I love this. But this, this is, look at her little card. Is that not sweet? Look at this. Love that. It says linen care. No, each and every one is hand done one by one, so each is unique in color, modeled appearance, wrinkles, lines, fading, and distressing. Imperfectly, perfectly prim and unique. And when ironing, before or after stitching, please use a pressing cloth between your iron and your fabric, as I do heavily stain each piece and add oils that can stick to your iron. I personally steam mine and don't care what gets what gets on what or what messes up as I love making it even more distressed. But a word to those who don't want it fudged, do use a pressing cloth. That 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 is beyond beyond Oh, that's gorgeous. And it just smells like heaven. Um, I'll put a link for Kanicki's in the um, description box. It, that's, I'm just going to wear that. <laughs> I am a fool. And this is, I'm not sure what this is. your purchase. I strive to provide excellent service, so if you are not 100% satisfied, please contact me directly for immediate resolution. Mrs. So-and-so. Now, this is something that I got on um, Etsy, and the reason why I purchased it was for the Hawaiian chart that's on here don't know if I've ever mentioned the fact that we lived in Hawaii for three and a half years. Um, I was 13 to 16 and a half. And my dad was in the Coast Guard and we were stationed over there and it wasn't fun. It really wasn't. But I love the a lot of the culture um, of Hawaii. But actually this is got King Kamehameha on it and a palm tree and oh an outrigger and what's that this one and this one but that's King Kamehameha. And um, you know the feathered capes that you may see on the kings? Um, the red on it, there was a bird in Hawaii that had a little red patch on it. And they um, would hunt those birds and kill them for the red feathers. And um, they actually, the Hawaiians, uh, hunted those birds into extin extin extinction. They no longer, they no longer exist. But that is uh, why I purchased this. Um, it's got Chicago in here. My parents are from Chicago. San Francisco. Washington, D.C. <gasps> uh, is this San Francisco? I think this is San Francisco. Um, let's see here. 
Bear with me a minute. Flag lines on Aloha Tower. I don't know what Aloha Tower is. Unless it's at the airport. Yeah, the other one was San Francisco. Very cool. Like that. So... Then the next thing I wanted to share with you is the Just Cross Stitch magazine. And this is the cover of it. So I really like that. And it's like almost every single pattern in here, every single design I really like. And the first one I like is the Spring Chickadees pillow. I adore that. And of course, you know why, me and the birds. That's really pretty. This one is designed by Marine Barber. And this is the one that's on the cover, uh, Ireland Sampler by Kathleen Berlou. I really like that. I guess it speaks to my Irish heritage. And to take that off. I love that so much. Um, then this little uh, clover pin cushion. And this one is by Anna Lee Waite Designs. I think that's pretty. This is by Liz Almond of Black Work Journey. This is pretty pillow. I like that. Uh, Beaded Cross by D. Selby. There's some hard dunger in there. Very pretty. And this is Easter Morn by Kathy Busey, and it is a darling delicate egg. And the saying is Easter, Easter Morn and life and love and peace are all newborn. That's really cute. And I don't know why this one, but I think it may be the colors, but it's Vintage Glassware by Marie Barber. I like that. And I really do think it's the colors. This one is Italian Bird Piles, and it is by Elizabeth Spurlock of Saving Grace's Fine Needle Arts. Sort of reminds me of that. Uh, Fracture, fracture type of, uh, This is Tussie Mussy, Kathy Bungard of Gracewood Stitches. It's all blue. It's very pretty. Different colors of blue. And there's two, three, two different colors. Yeah, two. And last but not least, and uh, this is a 1867 reproduction sampler. And it is what design is Robin Henderson Patrick of Threads of Memory. So it's a really good issue of uh really good issue. Empty that trash. Alright, so the last thing I wanted to talk about is um, 
freebies. Where's cool beans? Okay. All right, and I uh, found a blog called Feathers in the Nest, and it's sort of like a thrifty, nitty, cross-stitchy blog. And she has some designs on her site. But she also, um, uh, on that blog, she led me to um, this very Easter, Easterish, or Easter free design, and I wanted to share it with you because I really liked it. Um, and this came from, I followed this to Stitch Creations, and there's lots of free black work. Um, designs. But this is uh, Stitch Creations and they are um, I'm linking uh, got links to the sites there. So you can do this in several different colors or just a couple of colors. I like the lilies on them. I like the three crosses up on the hill. And also, uh, free cross stitch patterns central. There are tons and tons of free free uh, patterns there. I went looking for Easter because I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I wanted to have an Easter design for you, free design that you could go get. But um, yeah. Go, I would just go there and look. Some of the links do not work, but it's a crapshoot. And the last thing is, I got my, uh, I got an email, a little newsletter from Hands On Designs, Kathy at Hands On Designs, and um, she has a free design, and it's called Cool Beans, and um, it's a cup of coffee. Uh, and she has it stitched up really cute, finished really cute. And I put the the link, the link to this freebie there. So um, this week I'm going to work on. Oh, if anybody has a really simple, easy recipe for dirty rice, would they share it with me? Uh, would you share it with me? I, my husband loves dirty rice. I can get it for a box of it for about 89 cents, but I'd sort of like to try and make a good dirty rice for him. He doesn't eat um, pork or beef products, so it uh, doesn't matter. I can take the meat out, but I'm really interested in the spices. Um, so anyways... I'm just going to stitch Tuesday, well, tomorrow is Easter Sunday, and I do not think our family, ooh, they're one a cardinal. I don't think we're doing anything for the family. Uh, Orn has to work. Um, my family's not doing anything. Tuesday, oh, we paid our taxes. Oh. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I tried to wait till the last minute, but I had a really bad experience on the 1st of April when I went to pay my mortgage online, and the site was down, and I was really upset about it because I didn't want my mortgage to be late, and so I wasn't going to wait until the, the 15th, or I guess she, taxes aren't due until Tuesday, but I didn't want to wait to pay, so I paid it this week. And... Um, Tuesday we stitch group at the library and I think that uh, that's it and I challenge all of you to have a great week on a blessed Easter and if you have any criticisms please let me know I, I do it in a friendly way you know um, Leslie and I were talking about this and there's no reason to be snarky but if, you know, and I do want my content to be interesting to people. And if I see some someone I'm not particularly fond of, their content, or 
their personality. I, I don't say anything to them, and I just don't watch them again. Um, I don't subscribe to them. There have been some people I've unsubscribed to, uh, people begging for money and stuff like that. It's just That's not what this is about. This is about sharing our love for their needlework. And um, what I do, what I stitch might not be interesting if you're not interested in what I, that, if you're not interested in God, if you're not interested in birds and flowers and love, then just don't watch. And you don't need to say anything or give me a thumbs down. So, anyways, um, we haven't had any hummingbirds yet. We've got the hummingbird feeder over here swinging in the wind. And uh, anyways, this has been way too long, so 40 minutes. <laughs> anyways, I love all of you guys so much, and um, I wish you a blessed Easter. And it's an amazing world. It really is. It's a beautiful world. So, God bless. I love all of you.